verse 35. Bible, Jesus talking about John, he said he was a burning and a shining light. He was a burning and a shining light. He was a burning and a shining light. That tells us that it takes a burning to generate a shining. Do you get it? It takes a burning. Now, we are seeing sunlight, eh? but only the sun knows what he's feeling. Uh, we, 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 we call it sunlight. No, it's sun heat. The sun must generate enough heat to be able to, uh, to, be able to transmit light on the earth. If the heat is not enough, the light will not hit the earth. So we see light. Only the sun knows what is feeling. This boss you are seeing there, only the filaments can tell you what it is feeling there. It must generate a burning for us to see the shining. Canada, I bring you the counsel of God this morning or this evening. You want to shine as light, then you must know how to generate the burning. Many Christians are too cold to ever shine. Too cold to ever shine. You are the light potentially, but to be able to generate and transmit that light, there must be a heat. There must be a fire. There must be a fire point. There must be a fire point. John was a burning light and a shining light. Don't tell me you will shine if you're not burning. Nothing shines without burning. For us to have light, there must be a heating system in that filament. So we think that the current coming into the bulb is light current. Actually, it is heat current. <laughs> to burn the filament, the hotter the filament, the brighter the light. The hotter the filament, the brighter the light. The hotter the sun, the brighter the sunlight. The brighter you want to become, the chemist, the heat you must generate. I saw a scripture, Proverbs chapter 28. I think so. Kunukate katiko radia shin kratato selevanimash. I mean, many believers, we are so cold and we are quoting prophecies. Ayamako koro do siza ale kashi ale baraba. Proverbs. Proverbs. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Proverbs 20, 27, verse 21. It said, As the finding pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. As the finding pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. That tells us that there are two places a man can choose to be. The finding pot and the furnace. You cannot compare a finding pot to a furnace. What a ghost means you is called finding pot. The ghost means they, they find like that. It's finding pot. Now, the, the furnace, hey, the heat in the furnace. Huh? You, if you put gold in the finding pot, you won't get it. It won't melt. So, the level of praise you want to enjoy in life determines the place you must go. Either the finding pot or the furnace. So if you choose an easy Christian life, you have chosen the finding pot. You will end up as a seal with a silver destiny. Meanwhile, that is not what God ordained for you. You have the potential of a golden destiny. But people will settle down for cold Christianity. They won't generate enough fire. They, will, they don't want to fan the flame so their fire can be burning. The burning produces the shining. As it, it's repeated in Job 28 verse 1. It says there is a place for the silver and a place for the gold where they are refined. There is a place for the silver, Job 28 verse 1, and a place for the gold where they are refined. You must choose if you want to enjoy this Christian life and shine as the light you are ordained to shine, then people of God, come and let's burn. 
He takes a bonnezza, an arrow, Rezo Fadina Motale Kanesh, the Zwaye, Kano Koshigas, Sefte no Palekotabi, and Nurwash, a Koreandes, Zavilo Pontaliaka, Kanakate Kokakiaka Krakateke. He takes a burning to produce a shining. You are too cold to shine as a... The reason we have not yet produced a president in our nations as a body of Christ is because we are too cold. We are too cold. So the, 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 the coldness, the demonic influence in the political arena swallows them up. Speaking to a man one time, he said, you know, when a Christian gets there, it's difficult because when they get there, then he turns like them. You know why? He is not burning enough. <laughs> Kai Ashuvava. He, he, his fire, his fire, his fire, his fire, his fire is not light fire. He's, he, he, he doesn't have fire. Eh? He doesn't have fire. When Daniel entered that place, sir, as one man, he, Kurush, as one man, his fire torn an entire nation, which was a world power. His fire turned it around. He was generating the fire. He was generating the fire. He was generating the fire. It takes a burning to shine. We like the shining. We don't like the burning. We like the shining. We don't like the burning. It's a fallacy. Any prophecy that tells you you will shine as light and then tell you that you will burn as fire, it is even you. If you must shine as light, then you must burn as fire. No wonder Jesus Christ was called the 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 the, the bright and morning star. Uh -huh. Then in, in, in Malachi, he was called, he was called the son of righteousness, S-U-N. He takes that burning as the sun to shine as the morning star. To shine as the morning star. Everybody, people have been on the moon. People have been on the on on on, on what they call it and been into that into that most the galaxies, but nobody died the sun yet. No, you see, uh, no. Meaning it's not light that is there, it's heat that is there, fire. <laughs> uh, it's fire that is there, it's not light. People are going on the moon, they say we'll go on Mars. Thank God for that. Nobody ever tried. You know, we have Mercury, Venus, Mars. Mm. They, they say we'll go on, we'll go on uh, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. <laughs> we'll go on Mars, the colder region. Nobody wants to go to the hotter region. <laughs> the hotter regions, nobody's going there. You know what? You will fry, you will fry to smoke before you get there. That is what happens. Daniel was generating the fire, so the decadence of the political system of Babylon couldn't swallow him up. The body is cold. That is why we are not able to generate enough light. The world is still making laws for us to follow because they are cold. We are cold. We are cold. Stop. I am anointed. Shut up. We are cold. We are cold. When we generate enough fire, we will shine as light. Bright as light. Leviticus chapter 6. I shall shut down. Chapter 6. Verse 12 and 13. The Bible said, And the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. And shall not be put out. And the priest, say priest. Now, we have been called priests in Revelation 5, the verse 10. He has made us unto our God priests and kings. So you are a priest. Say I'm a priest. The priest shall burn wood upon it every morning. Say every morning. The priest shall burn wood thereon every morning. So there is the priestly duty of burning wood every morning priestly duty of burning wood every morning every morning every morning and the morning begins from 12 a.m every morning there is the priestly duty for a believer to burn wood on the altar every morning if you will ever shine as the bright light in the day it, it takes a, a burning 
it takes a burning. If you refuse the burning, you have denied yourself the, the, the brightening. The, the brighten. Man, there is more to your life. There is more. The gold you see now, you think is the brightest gold. Just put it in, in, into more extent, in higher, uh, no, higher, in intensity of fire. You see a brighter gold come out. That brighter gold, you think, oh, this is a pure gold.